most of the things I sit here and talk about, I notice have to do with water. I will say, one, if you live in Amsterdam, there's water everywhere you look, so of course water will play a big role in the stories or the anecdotes shared. And uh, secondly, I do go to the waterfront a lot and hang out there. So again, on my favorite pier, I'm there on an afternoon. This is about a year ago. Uh, yeah, almost a year ago. And I'm there, I think it's Friday or Saturday is one of those days. And as I'm sitting, the um, this boat comes in, it's the supper club, supper club party boat, this big grey huge so it's not quite a ship, but it's quite big. So this comes in. On one side, so that's the side between my on this sort of central station side, then on the water side of the pier I'm on, this other smaller boat which is pink and it's um, Jordan is an area in Amsterdam, so sort of the true Amsterdamers, or some of the true Amsterdamers, original Amsterdamers, come from this area of Jordan. And there's a, a kind of music, folk music, smart loppers, um, the smart lop. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's actually quite nice music. Um, so you have this boat, and it's uh, decorated with portraits of famous uh, Amsterdam folk singers. So that's on one side. On the supper club party boat, which you know you can rent these boats out and um, for whatever, so that one has all these flags on top, and the flags say, "Welcome to the Latin experience." And so I see that. Uh, the other one is just as it is. The pink one is as it is, and slowly people start coming because. The boats are there, and you come, get on the boat, and you'll take a trip. So I'm sitting right at the end of the pier, and uh, the <laughs> supper club boat is playing uh, uh, Latin music. I, I I can't tell you what kind of music exactly. And the people who are coming to board the boat are very vibrant and very um, boisterous and filled with this wonderful energy. They just, you know, they've been to dance and they get closer and closer. So they're waiting, the, you know, the boat is there, but they can't get onto the boat just yet. So more and more and more of them are arriving on the pier and they begin to sort of uh, flow to where I am. And they're singing and hugging each other. And you hear all these names of people who obviously hadn't seen each other for a while. They're, they're so excited to see this one, see that one, see that one. And they, um, they are singing and they're, they're these songs that they know, so someone will sing a song, they all start singing, and they're getting really close, so <laughs> I'm now on the edge of this, uh, this sort of bench, and there is nowhere else to go, and they've reached this point, I'm trying to write it, I've stopped, because there is, you can't concentrate, it's not that, that they're doing anything wrong, it's just the energy is such that it's impossible to concentrate. And they are dancing, and there's one next to me dancing, and I'm getting knocked this way, and then there's more and more, and they're sort of all around and dancing. And I have somebody who's behind, very close to my head, sort of wiggling away. And then somebody says, oh, you shouldn't be working. You should have fun. You should this, you should that. And I'm sort of laughing with it, but I'm not going to dance. I'm just staying there. Meanwhile, for the other boat, the pink boat, people have also started arriving. And these are older, let's say, on average, they're about 15 years older, the group that's going on to the other boat. And they are not, they're also excited, but in a very quiet way. They are not um, jumping up and down and uh, doing anything. Their, their greetings seem quite polite, and I must say I'm not studying everything, but it's a different kind of boat. And it was just so funny to see these two groups. So the, the group going into the pink boat, they were very quiet, and they seem to be watching exuberance of those who were going on to the uh, supper club party boat to enjoy the Latin experience. And I don't know what expressions were on the faces of the others, but they were really looking. And what I noticed is that the people who were going onto the party boat didn't seem to be bothered with anything but 
right now and here around them. So they were listening, they were laughing with their friend, with the people they knew. They were all, it was just this world they were in and they were super excited. And I saw that the people on the pink boat who were going into the pink boat were all, all, almost all of them seemed to be looking at this other group. And I was wondering, is it a case of them saying, oh, I wish I could do that, or is it that, oh, you shouldn't make so much noise in public, or this one or that one, I have no idea. But to see these two cues, completely different cues, all human beings, but with such completely different energy, it was kind of nice to be there. And I have to say, regardless of the fact that I couldn't do any work while they were there, it was, it did give me, it, it just felt nice. They were so friendly, and had sort of absorbed me into their party. The fact that I was there and they were there, they, these are the Latin experience people. It was really, really cool. So, uh, yeah, that's that.